Hi Famous here Today I'm going to test the Auto Axe Not gonna lie, it's pretty exciting because I've tested it on like multiple Myrtle Queens And the result is awesome I can kill Myrtle Queens, be more like really quick And usually that's a good sign And as usual, I was just lucky I've got the Anti-Armor Auto Axe with 25% damage while standing still which I guess it'll be the best I don't have no idea I guess it's 25% uh, additive damage is meh <laughs> especially auto X basically has like really low base damage so yeah I don't know and I also prefer anti armor instead of bloodied because of the same reason and for some reason I cannot craft the mod I think because the mod can only be retrieved from the, what is it, from the vendor using the stamps, if I remember correctly though, because I haven't played Expedition like even once. Let me know in the comments below if you know about that. So this is my special points, I have plenty of specials because I'm using unyielding armors. And these are my buffs, I took all of them. Not gonna read that as usual. Feel free to pause the video. And these are my mutations. And I'm a carnivore. Because in this build, I don't use criticals. I only maximize my strength as high as I can achieve. And it's why I use herd mentality and being in a team. Here are my perk setup. I have all maxed out sluggers. Just to make sure if slugger works for this weapon. Oh, okay, it only adds like 5 damage. Oh my god. Is this card even worth it to equip, actually? Okay, I have Incisor to increase armor penetration. I guess that's the best one. Here I have Revenant, but I, I won't use it in this run. So I'll just jump and test the damage. And here I have Tenderizer. I have party boy, so I gain like 6 strength from whiskey. And I have adrenaline. I guess it, it won't matter that much, because I will just focus on her. And I have bloody mess for tiny damage. I guess that's it, let's jump right to the test. I will use red shield, liquid courage, whiskey, and psycho buff. So I have 55 strength right now and 184 damage, uh, not impressed. 15 damage, 17 damage on head hit. I can see the Earl health bar like dropping. I will say that's relatively quick. That's a good sign again. I guess this is part of the thorn armor too because this build like rely on thorn armor and like fast dps instead of like critical huge hit or something like that i will say like even with the uh, minigun shredder it has like double the damage i guess it was about like 40 or 60 and i guess the how how fast the Earl had bar like dropping it's it's not that much different. Either this this weapon attacks faster than the shredder or or it's because the thorn armor? I have no idea. It could be because of the thorn armor though. I think the second star the 25% standing still is not a good idea because this weapon tends to push the enemy similar to minigun shredder so I have no idea the the game can give you the faster swing speed for this weapon but I almost sure that it doesn't work right it's similar to the boss blitz situation and let's say if uh, faster swing speed doesn't work hmm what's what's the best second star? Limb damage? No. I I don't want limb damage. I guess it's the 
fast critical hit. <laughs> I, I doubt you can use this thing. I've tried it, but it it's like uh, I don't know. It, the AP cost is even worse compared to plasma flamer. Well, maybe it's the standing still. If you can make or uh, like uh, you push her uh, towards the wall, and he cannot move anymore. But but the problem is that because of the her uh, glitch, you know, or uh, went into the ground. That's because of that kind of thing when you push him like uh, touching the wall too much. I don't know how to say it, but if you pushing him too much, too far away, he can he can go crazy with the glitch. I've done it with my melee katana builds like multiple times. Dear Bethesda, please fix this bug. It's just pure annoying. Okay, that's it. 2 minutes 46 seconds. It's similar to melee one-handed, I would say, and also similar to minigun shredder. And I don't even have the mod for it. I guess if if I can put like the electrical mod or poison, no idea which one better, but should we increase our DPS even more, which is great. So this weapon has been approved by Famous. So what do you guys think about it? Does it need buff or something? Is it too strong? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.